Hello guys, so today I will be informing you all how to break a root password in a Unix system. Here we will be doing it on Linux system that is RHEL7 which is applicable on CentOS 2. At end of this video we will also discuss the solution how to be secured from such attacks. For resetting of Unix password there are actually 6 steps. Step 1. If your Linux system is up and running reboot it. If not, then start it. At boot menu, press up and down arrow to select OS for which you want to reset root password. And then press E so that you can edit boot entry. Now, step two. From grub menu, find the line which start with Linux 16 and then simply press end key so that you would directly go to end at the end of it and append that with console equal to tty0 rd.break then simply press ctrl plus x step 3 here the root file system is actually mounted in read only mode that is to sysroot which should be remounted with read and write so that we can easily make changes which can be achieved by below given command that is mount hyphen o remount comma rw slash sysroot step 4 now as file system has been mounted we are supposed to change it into a chroot jail so that sysroot is used as a root of file system this is really necessary so that command will run in regards to sysroot which is achieved by command chroot slash sysroot Step number five. Now simply type paswd that is passwd command to change root password. If SC Linux is not in enforcing mode or not enabled in your system, you can simply reboot now. If SC Linux is disabled, simply enter exit twice and reboot your system. But wait, if SC Linux is in enforcing mode, you need to follow next step too. But by default, SE Linux is an enforcing mode for RHEL 7 and Cent OS. Step 6 As I told earlier, SE Linux is an enforcing mode, so we are required to repair context of slash etc slash shadow file. This is because when password command is used, that is PAWSWD, it creates new slash etc slash shadow file. At this point, as SE Linux is not running, files created are with no AC Linux context which will definitely cause issues when we reboot. So we'll create simple slash auto relabel command using touch. Using touch slash dot auto relabel on next boot, this file will automatically perform relabeling of files. This may take time depending on number of files and directories you have on the file system. After using touch slash dot auto relabel command, enter exit twice. First, it will exit from ch root shell console, then it will exit from it frames root shell console and reboot it. So, we have seen it theoretically. So, now we will see how it is done practically. So, now I will enter as a root user, simply typing root and root password. So to verify it, I will simply type command who am I? So yes, I got it. I'm root. So simply I will now log out it. Now again, I will log in as a root using different password, which is wrong. Yes, I got a message. It is wrong. So I will simply reboot the system now. So now I will select first one, then press E to enter into boot menu. So now, yes, I've entered it. Now I will search for the paragraph which start with Linux 16. So I got it. Now I will simply press end key, append it with console equals to tty0 rd.break.
then simply press Ctrl plus X. So now on next screen we will type mount hyphen o remount comma rw slash sysroot. On next, we will write chroot slash sysroot. Press enter, then write pass wd. Uh, so you can enter the password, whatever you like it. Type it, then again retype same password. So now at last we will type touch slash dot auto relabel. Then we will enter exit two times. After exiting it, it will automatically reboot. Now you can see it is auto relabeling. So it may take time depending on files and directories you have in your system. So here it is almost about 100%. Yes, it is 100% now. So it will reboot. And so now we will enter. So first I will just change not listed root. Yes, I have typed new password. So it is three digit. Earlier I had only one digit. So I will just again check it whether I am root. So who am I? Yes, I'm rude. So at last, it's done. Now question is how to be secure from such attacks. Best solution is apply password to Grub itself so that no one can enter into Grub itself. So yes, you're secure there. So it's done. If you like this video, please do share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.